Hi, I'm here with Mike Trask, who is the Director of Marketing at Ainsworth Gaming Technology, or sometimes just known as plain old Ainsworth. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, now, Mike, you've been in the uh, slot machine business for how many years? I've been doing this uh, seven, eight years now with a uh, larger company for quite some time, and then I've been over uh, here at Ainsworth for about a year. All right, can you give us a little background for anyone who's not familiar with your company? Sure. Ainsworth is an Australian company. Uh, it started a few years back ago, created by Len Ainsworth, who's just an absolute icon in the industry. Uh, and in the last few years, we've really grown here in the United States uh, from essentially being non-existent to, at this point, about 5% ship share in the U.S. All right. Now, I'm familiar with your games because I see them at a lot of casinos in Florida where I'm based. And uh, we have a video out on YouTube about uh, slot machines. It was originally done seven years ago. So what we want to do is speak to you and get your input to see if the information in this video is still accurate. If not, maybe you can update it. But so I'm going to go along with some of the things we addressed there and get your information on it. Uh, first of all, so all slots use a random number gener generator, is that correct? Uh, that is correct. So each time a player pushes the button, a random event occurs within the game software, and the results are displayed on your screen. All right, now, could they, they could either put the, hit the button or pull the handle if a machine had a handle. Correct. If the, if the machine still does have a handle, and some do out there, you will occasionally see them. Uh, but in this case, uh, our games, you either hit the spin button or you can hit the bat on the screen. Usually the bat level as well will uh, trigger your wager. Okay, now, and until that person hits that button, the random number generator is generating different combinations. That is correct. That is correct. So when that is hit, one is pulled from that. And your results, again, on. So if you're getting uh, a, a good spin, is your jackpot or free games or, or a small win uh, or, or a, a not successful spin, as we all know. All right. Now, when a casino orders a slot machine, sure. you, as the manufacturer, you will offer them an array of chips that, that can be put into that machine that determines the theoretical payback on that machine? Correct. So each of our games that come out in Ainsworth has more than 200 unique titles. So each of those titles, and the one behind me, uh, Thunder Money, that will be available to operators in a variety of different payback percentages uh, to reflect different jurisdictions as well as simply casinos requests or their style of games. Um, so when you look at that return, we offer multiple varieties, say from you know an 80 something up to maybe 96 for a high denomination game. That payback percentage we offer several different ways. The casino, when they purchase the game and place it on their floor, they make the decision about what what uh, payback percentage they're offering to players. All right, now, one thing we didn't discuss in the old video was a par sheet. Can you explain what a par sheet is? So a par sheet is a sheet that is going to the casinos and uh, it's going to have all the stats on there based on payback percentage. It's going to tell you what the different, uh, how many spaces are on reels, what the wins are, uh, what the theoretical return is. So all of the technical information of what makes a game uh, play the way it does is going to be seen by the customer. They're going to be making some of their decisions about perhaps where to place that game within the floor, what level of, of payback percentage they like on the game, kind of based on all this technical information. All right, now the choice of uh, chip payback percentages, you say, would range from a low in the 80s to a high, the high 90s. So we're, usually, well, based on the uh, information that we post on our website that we get from the gaming commissions, it's usually done by denomination. Would you agree with that? Yes, absolutely. So generally speaking, uh, a penny game is going to pay back at a much lower level than maybe a, a dollar game or a $5 game or certainly a, a $25 or $100 game. Uh, so that, is, that tends to be standard uh, across the United States, and you know, your site and some other places also post them. That's publicly uh, available information that the casinos have to share most of the time by law. All right, and one other question, please, now. What is the secret to winning on a slot machine? Um, Steve, if I knew the secret to winning on a slot machine, I certainly wouldn't be standing here talking to you. I'd be about... Uh, maybe what is it about a quarter mile down this hallway I'd be sitting at the Venetian and I'd be, I'd be taking all the money out of there. Okay, in our video though we'd say the secret is to get lucky. Would you agree with that? Certainly the, the secret is to get lucky and, and there's, there is uh, you know you can look through those payback percentages and, and different players are going to like different styles of games. Okay, well thanks for that information.